So you have a radio controlled airplane, boat or car, something like that, and you have one of these batteries, lithium polymer battery that needs to be charged. And let's say your kit only came with a car charger and you want to charge it in your house but you don't want to buy a house adapter. What you can do is down at Radio Shack or other places you pick up one of these female cigarette lighter adapters and you just cut the wires off the end then you plug those wires into or you attach those wires to your yellow and black leads off of an old computer power supply. Okay, you get all these wires that come off of here. These are all your daisy chained um, power connectors for your accessories in your computer, such as your uh, disk drives and um, other peripherals that require either 12 or 5 volts. Yellow gets you 12 volts, red gets you 5 volts, black is ground. So you connect your black lead to the ground lead for your cigarette lighter adapter, which would be the outside portion of it, and then the little inside is your is your positive lead. And then check it, of course, make sure that you have proper polarity before plugging in your charger. And you can see it's working, it's charging right now. It blinks when it's charging and then it glows steady when it's complete. Um, Using a, uh, an old power supply, obviously the power supply has to work, but you can't just plug it in and turn it on because they're not designed to work that way. But it's a very simple uh, sort of hack to uh, get it to work. Normally this connector here is plugged into your motherboard on your computer and it provides a uh, switching to turn the power supply on. Which is why when you have your computer um, together and you just throw the switch in the back of your power supply, it doesn't always just turn your computer on. A lot of times you have to hit your switch, your computer switch. Your power switch on the front of your computer, like that. Uh, and what that does is it, it actually connects these two, these leads. Now on your um, motherboard connector, you'll have, you should have, only one green wire and right next to that green wire is a black wire there's a lot of black wires and they're all they're all grounds um, but if you connect the green wire directly to the black wire and I just use a jumper here just a piece of solid uh, 14 gauge wire and just made a jumper so I connected those two wires together and it allows the power supply to turn on and then once you do that you have your you have your 12 volts and you have multiple uh, connectors depending on your power supply um, this one has tons and tons of daisy chain connectors so I can use it for a lot of things I'm going to use the 12 volts here for the charger I'm going to pull another 12 volts off another lead uh, this yellow and black lead right here will give me another 12 volts and that's going to um, make my uh, give me power for my hot wire foam cutter so just a quick little uh, DIY easy, cheap, reusing uh, materials, which is something I love to do. If anybody watched my videos, you know that about me. I love to reuse things, repurpose things. So uh, I hope that helps people save you some money. Thanks for watching, guys.